right, to the new batch. So I understand some of you, if not all of you, are working on stories, maybe graphic novels, maybe shorter scope kind of a thing, like length of a picture book. Some. Okay, some. So today it's going to be a little bit experimental. Uh, it's an exercise, which could turn into a larger project if you like what you're doing today. But you don't have to love what you're doing today. It's an experiment, okay? So I'm asking you to try something new to, to open up and, and just see what comes out while we have the time together today. So a lot of my students were making graphic novels naturally. And we didn't really know how to make it into an actual book. And I went to a lecture and I saw Tom Franco and his mom, Betsy Franco, talking about her new book, Naked. And I was really inspired because of the natural way that they work together. And so um, when I started thinking about it, I thought Tom would probably a good, be a good person to come in and show us how to write and illustrate books. It was her idea. I think, I think the, uh, the kids were already doing stories, graphic stories not necessarily novels, but uh, storytelling through pictures. She wanted me to bring in my experience around creating a whole package of a story because it's such a long, daunting process that there's no manual, really. There's no good manual or uh, a way to, to know those details other than doing it. And um, Just blew us away the first day. He, um, he was so clear. Like, he had done so much research, not just for us, but he had been writing his own books since high school. But the most interesting part is when he said, we're going we're gonna to go into a meditation, and you're going to see your character through meditation. So it was a very short meditation. He set them up very well. He told them, you know, that they are artists and have the confidence that, to see themselves as an artist, to see, the, to see their story. And then they went into the meditation, he said, um, and he just said, just let the story come to you. You're just sort of letting it sit, and then you wait for the ideas to come to you. Um, and I feel like you get better ideas, and you get more workable ideas through that than trying to force like a character design, or trying to force a plot line, or a dialogue, or something. You have to sort of let it come to you through just opening your mind. Um, and he just said, just let the story come to you see the story and all and all three conflicts. It only took about two minutes. They came out of this meditation and he said, okay, you have one hour to write the whole story, 32 pages. Jot the whole story down. And, and they got into it. I was very impressed with how many of the people, maybe 80% of the people had a full story already in their minds. And, and then uh, we spent most of the period doing it. I mean, that's what it takes. It's just. Uh, getting out of your head, so it, it's, it is very much having a, a good atmosphere, getting into a good zone of, of being able to flesh out a full story. Relax and calm your mind and just let the ideas come to you because they'll come to you if you give it time and if you just let it happen. And I think that was really helpful. I never got to that at school. Maybe, oh, I see maybe yeah. in fifth grade we did something like I that. Mm -hmm. It's like write your own book, illustrate it, but... Just complete freedom. Complete freedom, but storytelling. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be somewhere special. Even I, I, I would say even in the theater schools or whatever, you don't get to that place. Mm -hmm. you're, you're following, you're following, you're following. So to have that as the project, I think Miss Lynch was a genius move mm -hmm. to expose everybody to doing that. Too. Right. The, the exciting part is to be able to be with the students, be with the other people, which uh, I love to do and don't get to do it enough, um, short of being a teacher. And the most exciting thing of that, I think, is at this point, and now that that kind of project is over, is to be able to collaborate with some of these people. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I kind of picked people out in my mind, like, oh, that person this is doing something very special, and the stuff that was coming out technically, thematically, it's like, it was... I mean, I'd rather read those than anything in the bookstore. <laughs>